What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again. And you constantly hear the phrase, know your worth. Know your worth, sis. Yo, you gotta know your worth at that job or they gonna play you. Know your worth. People constantly say that. And everybody thinks they're worth a million dollar deal. But sometimes you only worth $20 and a drink off the man's soda. I'm just keeping it a buck. Most people think that know your worth means that they should think about what they want and that's what they should get. Know your worth means here's what I deserve because I showed up being me. Well, guess what? What you deserve has nothing to do with what you get in this world. And I'll prove it to you. Think about it from this perspective. Do you know that there are babies born with AIDS? Do you know that babies are born addicted to drugs? Do you know that there are little kids with cancer? Who the hell deserves that? Do you know that some people are born in countries that don't have real opportunity like you do? Some people are born in countries that don't even have the internet, so they couldn't even watch this video. Or very few people in the country have the internet, and they're not one of them. The reality is that what you deserve in life has nothing to do with what you get. You get what you can put yourself in a position to get. Period. You don't just get things because you magically dream and you deserve this and you deserve that. It's not about let me walk up and say, here's my worth to me and everybody else should agree. And this is why you constantly find yourself not getting what you want from people and not getting what you want from situations because you only think about yourself in the equation. Most of the time, if you're in a negotiation with somebody and you're thinking about nothing but yourself and what you want, you're not negotiating, you're begging. You're looking for a handout because in a negotiation, you have to figure out, of course, you already know what you want. So you have to figure out what it is you can bring to the table that makes them want to do business. If you can't do that, you can't negotiate. You can't sell somebody something by saying, hey, I need to put some money in my pocket. Of course, you need to put some money in your pocket. Duh, that has nothing to do with them. You need to give them a product. You need to give them something that they would actually find value in. A lot of times people say, I'm worth more than just being in the friend zone. No, you really aren't. That's why they put you in the friend zone. Because they don't feel like they have a reason to be in a relationship with you. They feel like they have a reason to be in a relationship with somebody else. Which is why they put you in the friend zone. Girl, you gotta hold out for at least 90 days. And then he gonna snatch you up and marry you right away. I know that's what your mother did to me. The only girl I knew that was putting out was Mary Jane Robinson. Poor, and I couldn't get her because everybody was trying to smash that. So I went on ahead and settled down with your mother. And we've been happy ever since. You know, ish, happy-ish. What's up, it's your man Chaz Ellis. And I know you're tired of this old 1965 game that only works if you marry your high school sweetheart. So make sure you click the link below and check out my masterclass, How to Get Them to Chase You. If you don't want to be in the friend zone anymore, you have to start showing your value. You have to start doing things that allow people to know that there is a reason to be in a relationship with you. If you want to get a promotion at your job, you have to start letting people know that there is a reason to promote you. Coming to work on time, doing your job, that's great. But that doesn't mean that they need to promote you because they're saying, well, that's why we give you this job so you can come to work and do this job. If you want a better job, you have to show us how that benefits us. You have to show your boss how they benefit on a personal level. You have to show the company how they benefit as a company. If you're unable to do that, clearly they're not going to give you a freaking promotion. They have no reason to. Why not give it to somebody else? In life, you have to start separating yourself from other people. If you want better opportunities in the workplace, if you want better customers in your own business, you have to start separating yourself from everybody else. Everybody doesn't have to agree on whatever it is you're worth. Everybody doesn't have to agree that you're doing really well and you deserve more. Only the people who are in a position to make that happen. They're the only ones that have to agree. So you could be a four dating a supermodel and that's cool as long as she agrees that you are worth being in a relationship with. You can be a four dating the most handsome dude in the world with all the money and all the fame and all the success if he agrees 
that you are worth being in that type of a relationship with. But you have to set yourself apart from other people. Of course, everybody thinks they're a 10, but average is five. And most people have to be average. So clearly everybody's not a 10. Everybody's not an eight or a nine. Most people who say, oh, I'm not delusional. I don't think I'm a 10. They think they're eight or a nine and you're probably not. I'm just keeping it a buck. If you want to be successful, if you want to actually know your worth, you have to say what you're bringing to the table for that person. What would they find of value? If all you have is the fact that you're really, really attractive, that's not even a big deal for somebody who attracts attractive people. You got to be more than that. If all you have is the fact that you're rich, that's not really going to be a big deal for somebody who attracts rich people. Most people think that they can just pump up one area in their life and that's going to fix all their problems. Just wait till I get rich, son. I'm going to get all the girls. No, you're not because now you're going to want the girls that rich dudes get. So you're going to have to compete with somebody who's not only rich, they're also good looking, they're also smart, they're also funny. So you're going to constantly have to be building your resume so that you have the value to attract what you want and get what you want from those people. If you think, oh, well, I'm just so pretty, I'm going to get every guy that I want. No, because you're competing with other people who are also pretty. Of course, you probably think you're the prettiest person in the world, but you're not. There are other people who are just as attractive and they also bring other things to the table. Knowing your worth is about knowing what you bring to people who have what you want. A lot of people have it in their head that things are just supposed to come to them, that everything is just supposed to go their way. If she doesn't like you, she's a narcissist. If he doesn't like you, he's a narcissist. If the boss doesn't like you, he's hating. Anybody who doesn't want to give you the things that you want, you constantly just feel like it's a personal attack. But a lot of times the real reason that they're not doing it is because they don't see a reason to give you what you want. They don't feel like you're valuable enough to their bottom line. If you start concentrating on how you can bring value to a situation, you won't have to worry about know your worth. You'll just get a chance to choose who you want to take good things from. When you are the best at what you do, you don't have to worry about your employer knowing your worth. You get to choose who you want to be employed by or if you want to be employed by yourself. If you are the best at what you do, if you are the best version of yourself, you don't have to worry about dealing with somebody who won't give you the wedding ring or who keeps putting you in a friend zone. You'll get to choose who you want to have the best relationship with. But if you keep on with the, I know my worth and I'm going to wait around until somebody gives it to me, that's exactly what you'll be doing. Wait. Girl, you got to hold out for at least 90 days and then he going to snatch you up and marry you right away. I know that's what your mother did to me. The only girl I knew that was putting out was Mary Jane Robinson. Boy, and I couldn't get her because everybody was trying to smash that. So I went on ahead and settled down with your mother. And we've been happy ever since. You know, ish, happy-ish. What's up, it's your man Chaz Ellis. And I know you're tired of this old 1965 game that only works if you marry your high school sweetheart. So make sure you click the link below and check out my masterclass, How to Get Them to Chase You.